Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Martian. I come in peace. And today we're fresh off the back of the Euro banning. It's a bit contentious. Uh, a lot of people wanted Omnath banned too, and I can't disagree. Omnath is an awfully egregiously powerful magic card, but I don't think you, you could really expect them to ban their new Chase Mythic, so I'm not surprised. Uh, I think Omnath will probably be banned soon enough. It is what it is. And obviously, Euro being banned is awesome. And I think this deck. Rogues, which is a deck I wasn't even going to cover, to be honest, because every other person on YouTube's covered it. But I just think it gets so much better without Euro in the format. So to begin with, I was like, yeah, this deck looks awesome, but you just feed your opponent Euros. They discard their, uh, they exile their graveyard, so your Zarath Sands don't do anything. All these cards that need eight cards in your opponent's graveyard do nothing because they just keep escaping Euro. But Euro's gone, so you don't have to worry about milling your opponent unless they're playing like Croxer I guess and maybe Croxer will be popular again but that remains to be seen and yeah I just think this deck's probably tier one now to be honest it was already kind of on the fringes of tier two seeing a bit of tournament play had some pretty bad results though to be honest and I think a big part of that is Euro and with Euro gone yeah I'm excited to see how good this deck really is I think it matches up pretty well against the Omnath decks to be honest because I think the only really good way to deal with Omnath is to counter it because it draws a card when it enters the battlefield so removal's not great on it I don't know why that line of text needed to be put on Omnath but there you go um, <laughs> but yeah so countering it and we've got a heap of counter spells we've got where is it drown the lock so yeah we've got 10 in the main and we've got a heap of two mana instant spells which is awesome because yeah it's great to have all your instants at the same converted mana cost because then leave up two mana you've got so many different options so this has flash as well it's one mana but all of these spells are instant speed the petty theft from brazen Borough is instant speed so yeah whenever we leave up two mana we've got a heap of options they do nothing we flash in this or we we flash in this or something, and then if they do something and we want to counter, we counter it, and then we've got a Heartless Act for some hard removal as well. So yeah, I really like the two mana slot in this deck, and I think it's a great way to deal with Omnath. I would love to have Blood Chief's Thirst in here for the Lotus Cobra, but it's not instant speed. I just couldn't fit it in. I think if you're playing best of three, definitely chuck some in the sideboard, but it's a new meta. I prefer to play best of one in a new meta because can't be certain on your sideboard plans. And I also just want to verse as many different decks as I can today. So we're going to play some best of one. But yeah, it's nothing crazy. It's a, a pretty standard rogue deck. You've got your Soaring Thought Thieves to uh, give them a plus one power boost, which is awesome. You've got your tempo plays in your counter and removal spells. Drown in the Lock, probably the best, one of the best cards in the deck, to be honest. And it's definitely the best home it's had in standard. Thieves Guild Enforcer, the M21 Rogue, helps you mill, becomes a 3-2 with Death Touch. Wind Rubber, pretty weak card to be honest, but it mills, it's got flying. Wish it had flash, but oh well. And you can sack it later in the game to draw a card, which is pretty damn cool. And then you've got your Rancor on your top end, so you can sack things like the Wind Rubber or whatever to make your opponent sack. It's got haste. Rancor's a really powerful card, great at closing out the game. And Zarath San is the awesome top end card with that ninjutsu ability, and yeah. Opponents not going to be exiling graveyards as much. There's going to be a heap of less graveyard hate. So things like this, things like Agadim's Awakening, they're all going to be a lot better because, yeah, no Euro means less graveyard hate. I mean, Scavenging is still a great card, but, yeah, I think people are playing a little bit less graveyard hate. So, yeah, I think Zarath Sun, Agadim's Awakening, the deck in general just improved greatly. Nighthawk Scavenger, we've got three of in here. I love this card. It improves as well because uh, more likely to have more power. And the lifelink is just insane on that flying body. Death Touch is also pretty relevant. And just the one of Black Bloom Maroki, it can be a 5-3 menace at times, but it's also a tap land. Another double face model card is the Hagra Mauling. Four mana instant speed removal, pretty expensive, but again, it's a land, so yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much the deck. I think, yeah, I think it looks really solid. So it'll be interesting to see how it performs, because yeah, I think it's tier one. If you enjoy, drop a like, consider subscribing, and let's jump into some games. All right, we've got a match here, and... Uh, like, I, we keep it, but we don't have any rogues. <laughs> we'll keep it, though. Uh, we look like a, a Demir control deck here, which I think will also be a pretty solid deck in the coming meta. Hey, that's a good draw. So, yeah, this is awesome. This is exactly what I was talking about. We get to hold up a counter spell for... Okay, so it is going to be the Omnath deck. Okay, that's really cool. We get to see... 
the uh, the top deck in the meta without Euro from the get go, I think. Yeah, I've heard I've heard rumors that the deck's going to become uh, four color adventures. So maybe that's what we're going to see here. So it's the, the adventure deck, but splashing white for the Omnath. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we're off to a pretty good start. Not gonna lie, we're getting for one here. We can remove their snake next turn, and then we can counter the Omnath on the following turn. Nope, okay. We can't counter that. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. So... Alright, opponent doesn't have a one mana red removal spell, I don't think. Yes, that's a great draw. Alright, alright. We, uh... We just get in for one again. Pass the turn. I mean, yeah, I guess we could have Zareth signed, actually. Maybe we should have. I kind of just forgot about it completely. I was too fixated. Nah, I, I like this plan better. I was too fixated on the, uh... Thought Thief counterspell plan, which I think is the better idea. But yeah, I guess we could have actually just gotten <laughs> a big old 4-4, but it's okay. If you get the 4-4, you just let them untap, play the Omnath, and then might be lights out. Maybe they don't have Omnath. That's always a possibility. What do they do with their 4 mana? Come on, opponent, just tap out. Tap out for that Omnath. That sweet, sweet Omnath. I know you want to. Hmm. Ramping again, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. So they've got three mana up here. I feel like, yeah, I wonder if they're gonna have counter spells of their own. Alright, we get a bit more meal. There's a black bloom rogue. Not great right here. I think we just played as the land. We'll attack, hold up our spells, get some more meal in. Because we could just tap out here and get any of these. I guess this is probably best, to be honest, for our deck. But no, we're playing it real safe today, boys and girls. <laughs> yeah, let's get this down tapped. Pass the turn. I might be playing it too safe. There's the Omnath. Um, so yeah, they, they tried to play around Anticognition, which is pretty smart of them. But yeah, we can just drown in the lock. Please no. Please no, like... Okay, good. I was going to say, if it's a counter spell war, we lose. Because this can only counter creatures and planeswalkers. Um, so I like where we're at now. They they did well to play around Anticognition. And they were right in assuming that we'd had it. But we actually get to grab their Omnath here. Because then we get to draw a card off of it. And if it's a land, we get to play it, add mana. I think that's the way to go. So let's attack. Mill, we get the buff now. Our guys are nice and big. Oh, this is risky, but I want to do it. If we hit a land, it's just so good. We we need to keep a blue mana open for sure. Because we're going to want a counter spell. Alright. We're doing it. It's risky. Alright. Give me Omnath. Mill some more. We're doing a lot of damage too. And yeah, I mean, we could just take the rogue, but I really like drawing a card. Grab the Omnath. Give me, give me a land. Yes, that's perfect. That could not have worked out better. We're gaining full life, not that it matters. And yeah, I mean, I feel like we're pretty good from here. Another Omnath. Another counter spell. Do they have the counter this time? They must have something. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Yeah, I think... I mean, it's only one match, but... That shows how good this deck is against the Omnath deck, and... I don't think it was a fluke. I think Anticognition, Drown in the Lock... Yeah, without without Euro, I think Rogues is just really good against Omnath. All righty, we got a match, and that's a stellar opening hand. Look at these really cool lands, man. <laughs> if there's anyone that watches like all my videos, they probably you probably get so sick of me complimenting the same lands every single time because it it is the same lands every time. I guess it's correct to uh, <laughs> wait till they scry there. Yeah, I was talking. I'm an idiot because yeah. All right, to the bottom. Phew. Because if it was to the top, we would have got to mill it and stuff them up. There is a Winota there. We have a couple humans. Do we have... And we've got some non-humans. If we can get a Zareth Sun and get their Winota and trigger it, that would be so cool. <laughs> Alright. The 
dream start, to be honest. Because we have four two mana spells that we get to hold up at instant speed here. Obviously, we'd like to just be able to get this down, but if we have to deal with something, we will. Opponent is on Winoda. Um, I don't think I've versed a single Winoda deck this season, if I'm honest. All right, this is risky. They probably have some sort of removal. Might be Sparkfield Hazard. Might be Stump. Stump. There goes Thieves Guild. That's unfortunate. But we had to go for it. And here, yeah, we get to hold up our spells. And yeah, Brazen Bow is always a fantastic card, but arguably even better in this deck because we get to hold it up as a spell and as a creature at the same time. There's the giant. Honestly, not super phased. Yeah, I think we prefer to get this down now. Next time we get to hold up both of these. I'm down to take two from that. There's the dismal backwater. So we get in, we mill some more. We're gonna need some better draws than dismal backwaters, but we'll see if they come. I'm not sure if I'd be playing this land to be honest. I didn't check the mana base because I exported a deck and slightly tinkered with it. All right, uh, see you later, Winota. Um, this deck's really good. <laughs> And I honestly think we just take the four here. We save this for the next one, Oda. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, we got another drown in the lock. That's pretty good. We're... Yep, cool. We got the buff. So we'll be ending this game quick smart. Would have liked to have drawn another creature somewhere here, but it's not a big deal. Gain a life. Life is not an issue at the moment. And I would... Like my opponent to just try and drop another Winota. That would be good. Yep. Uh, drown in the lock. And they probably concede here. <laughs> God, this must be really... Yep. <laughs> this must be really frustrating to verse. I hate versing rogues. Honestly, I really do. Um, but playing them is a blast, so... <laughs> I, yeah. We're only two matches in, but... I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Alright, we got a match here. Not the greatest hand, but it's capable. We've got two lands here. We'll start with the tap, obviously. And I'd like to get some Agadim's Awakening action in one of our matches, but it doesn't come up often. It's just in there because it may as well be. You run out of action, you top deck this, maybe you bring back one or two rogues. Can be pretty cool in a control matchup, but not going to come up a heck of a lot. I mean, so we're versing rogues ourselves. Um, I wish we had an untapped blue source here so that we could just hold this up. Because I don't want to just try and get this down, it'll just get countered. I'm going to hold up counters myself. So yeah, we may as well just get the Blackwater down. Gain the life. I don't know why we're playing the Blackwaters. I forgot to change the mana base. <laughs> yeah, so this is a good time to just get a Lofty Denial off. And yeah, we'd like to keep hitting lands honestly so yeah if our opponent has oh cool they've tapped out that's amazing so this time we get to actually just go scavenger and wind rubber which is really good we're gonna have to pay three but that's all right that's okay holding up the blue mana scavenger it's only a two three for now but the boy's gonna grow the ball is going to grow. Because, yeah, we've got a creature. We're going to get some instants. Our opponent mightn't have any sorceries. We'll see. So, yeah, it mightn't get too big, to be honest. Oh, I mean, you get lands in there, though. Ooh, a scavenger of their own. And we we can't kill it, so we're going to have to bounce it with the borrower so that we can get in. Yeah, we'll, we'll bounce it. We'll hold up a counter spell for if they try and play it next turn. And, yeah, I like where we're at now. Opponent might just block here. Fair enough. To avoid us uh, milling them. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'd prefer to hold the counter up though. I was going to say maybe we should have. Ooh, so they're holding stuff up now. Okay, I will still attempt to get in. Opponent, nothing. And we get to pass the turn. We get to hold up two counters, which is nice. We only have two cards in their graveyard. 
So yeah, this one is one where uh, we haven't drawn our mill pieces, which can can be an issue. Because a scavenger would be a lot bigger usually, drowning the lock would be a lot better, but still works here. So we, we will counter that. No reason not to. Oh, I guess there is some reason not to. No. Yeah, because they could counter drown in the, our drown in the lock. So they'll play this, we drown in the lock, then they might counter drown in the lock. We'll see. Nope, they're passing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, it is a Thought Thief. Almost tempted. This is weird, but I want to play it at sorcery speed to grow our scavenger. This could be greedy. Might be incorrect, but I'm a, I'm a greedy boy. I'm a greedy, greedy boy. Alright. Attack. Mill. Yep, sweet. We got one at least. Would have liked to have hit an instant. Can't believe our opponent doesn't have a single instant in there yet. But yeah, we're, this life swing is insane. When this creature goes goes undealt with... Uh, I guess we just counter it. Yeah, it's kind of scary being tapped out, but also... Yeah, we can just kill that with Jan and the Lock. Cool. A land is not... Ah... Damn it, we need another blue source to be able to play the Brazen Brewer, but yeah. We get to drown in the lock, hold up. Petty theft, so that's pretty cool. I will attempt to just kill it here. Would prefer it dead. Might be a counter spell. Oh, that's cool. Because if there was a counter spell, that would be semi fine. We'd just bounce it. Keep delaying them. And there's the pump. Still no instant. Whoa. There's the instant, but our guy's dead. And we have no counter spell anymore. Damn, yeah, maybe we should have just bounced it and held up the... Yeah, maybe we should have. Might have been a bit silly. Bounced it, held up the the petty theft. I mean, the, the drown in the lock. Yeah, I don't know. We had the option of playing this at sorcery speed here, but just gets us one more damage. Don't think it's worth it. Not in this scenario. We can flash it in. Got plenty of flash options. So they are going to bounce it. That's alright. Pass the turn, and we've got plenty of stuff to bounce in here. To flash in, sorry. Mm, is our opponent recovering? They might be. Our scavenger was doing so much work. Don't. T Agadim's awakening. Do not. Do not. So, yeah, this is a matchup where Agadim's awakening is going to be amazing. Because we could go one, two if we get one of them in the graveyard, three. Our opponent could get a heap of stuff back. Yeah, we'll take we'll take three to the face, sure. Because we're going to get in for a heck of a lot more. Yeah, I still really wish one of these was blue. I do wish one was blue, because then we could get one of these, one of these, but... Yo, what... Opponent, you could have got. I guess they assume I have a counter spell, but. Whoa, man. The value you could have just got is insane. That would have turned the game around. Why did they not go for it? I'm confused, but I'm very grateful. <laughs> Holy dooly. Alright, we've got a lofty denial as well. That's awesome. We shall attempt to get in pretty safely, too. If they have another Agadims, I, I don't understand why they didn't go for it. They must be holding up something. Well, now they're down to three. And, yeah. I really like our odds here. What could they have? Hagra Mauling. Counter that. And that should be the win. We shall see. Sweet. Um, still trying to work out why they didn't go for the Ag Agademes. I guess it's... Yeah, I guess... Okay, so I guess they 
were playing the safe option. And if we counted it, we just win. But also, it's, it was their only way to come back. I don't know. <laughs> we'll take the win, though. Alrighty, we got a match here. No instance, but we're going to keep it. It's a really solid curve out. Oh, we got the dismal backwater. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to have it in here, but I keep forgetting to swap it out. Um, yeah, we'll just start with it then. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe we should have just gotten this down. Agonizing remorse. There goes thought thief, I assume. I think you'd have to take the thought thief there. I think it's got to be Demir Control this time. Yeah, very unlikely that rogues would run Agonizing Remorse. Surely it's just the Thought Thief. That's a really hard word to say for me. Thought Thief. Thought Thief. Now the tap land. Yeah, in that case, we get this. Tap land. Because then we hit four by turn four. Guaranteed. Although... Yeah, okay, I regret this. We should have kept this. Because, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking we hit this by turn four, but they're not going to have creatures. <laughs> so that was perhaps a little bit silly. Big Whirlpool Island. What does our opponent have? I was going to say maybe they cycle a Shark Typhoon. How many of these do we have in the deck? I feel like we haven't seen any, any of these. Maybe the deck list I imported accidentally had more of these than Pathways. Oh, we're three and oh. <laughs> this will get counted, right? Then they have one blue mana. Dis disruption. I always call it dry description. Not sure why. It's definitely disruption. Okay, so we do actually get to land a Nighthawk here. A mind game. We don't want to give them the removal spell, but we also... You know what? Ah! Sure. Sure, sure, sure. They take the other two. Pretty fine with that. Pretty fine with that. We shall attack. Mill. And at least Atris is a creature we can possibly get in the graveyard for Zareth's son. And Zareth's son can't be counted. That's why I'm not really bothered about giving them neutralize. And we have a lofty denial now anyway, which is pretty cool. But yeah, if we can kill this Zareth's son at back, that would be pretty cool. Remorse, damn it. I say they take Lofty here. They take Zareth Sign here. Yeah, okay, I'm actually... I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Ah, uh, damn it. No. I mean, safe to assume they would have had something. Wow, we hit the Heartless Act too, so we would have been able to kill it. Zareth Sign it. Gosh darn it, dude. So they're actually winning this race now. <laughs> Um, we, we have hit 8, so we can sack it, and yeah, while they're tapped out, we will, because I'd like to hit something bigger. Damn it, man. Anticog, probably not great in this matchup, unless they have Ashiok. I mean, another Atris, a nice counter target as well. I guess we attempt a Heartless Act here. May as well now. It's probably going to be only one of the cre one of the only creatures, sorry. Who knows what Demir Control's running now, though. I feel like... The only creatures would be a Shark Typhoon token. Now the Dismal Backwater. The best card in our deck. We hold up two counter spells. Inventory. Draw. We gotta really hope they don't hit too many of them. And there goes Neutralize. Oh yeah, that's good. That's very good. We get to... Use our anti-cog, we get to scry. We find a rankle. Now that's good. Because yeah, we get to rankle, hold up denial. Ooh, that's great. And then we might just keep the drown in the lock to uh, guarantee that we keep rankle around for a bit. I suppose it doesn't guarantee anything. I like it though. Rankle, master of the prankles. Now, I guess we could... We're obviously not doing this one. I guess we could discard Lofty Denial, draw the Drown in the Lock, just to speed up the clock. We get to keep a counter spell. Yeah, I guess it's a counter either way, isn't it? This could be wrong, but I like the idea of speeding up the clock. We keep a counter spell. We maybe disrupt our opponent's hand. 
and the turn, and we can counter anything. They've got 13 cards in the grave, unless they can't, unless they cast a uh, impervious grave worm. But that's uh, that's rotated, and something tells me they they wouldn't be able to cast one right now anyway. Opponent passing the turn, so that's a good card to discard to our ankle if it gets in. Yeah, cycling a shark typhoon here sucks. Oh, we can just kill it. That's exactly what they'll do. Yeah, Shark Typhoon's still a really powerful card. Destroy you. Get in for some more. They still get to draw a card there, though, so they're two for one, this. But we do have a clock. We do have a clock. See you later, Island. Show me, show me some action, please. Yes, what a top deck. What a top deck. Wouldn't have minded a uh, scavenger or something while they were tapped out too. Atris, go for it. Go for it. Um, we're pretty cool with any of these, right? Right, do we try and make them think they're like, why did they give me a shark typhoon? I'll take the other two. I don't know. Let's just do it like that. <laughs> I always think about those too much and then end up probably doing it dumb. <laughs> Well, yeah, now they get to hold up this, so... That's probably silly. Probably silly, but oh well. We got our Drown in the Lock. Another card to discard. <laughs> That's good. I guess. What do you got? Still nothing to do with Rankle, please. Yes! Alright. Is Rankle gonna single-handedly win this match? It's getting close. I feel like... Surely not. Because our opponent... Yeah, we shouldn't have given them the neutralize. No, we should not. They get rid of it. That's actually good. And we have... We have the mana for all of this. Okay. Fingers crossed. I'm actually sick if you couldn't tell as well. Draw your cards, opponent. Yeah, so our opponent... This is a really cool deck. This Dominion Control deck. They're really outvaluing us. But this is the thing with the Tempo deck is... We're not so fussed about the value... We're just trying to keep keep a guy alive and slowly, yeah, slowly one for one our opponent. This sucks. They take they take one damage, but yeah, we may as well just let them do it right. Because if we counter it, then yeah, we'll let them take a damage because they're gonna get rid of Jan in the lock. So it's like if we countered it. We're just saving them a life, really? Yeah. So, same... Same, uh... End scenario. There's their Hagramalling. No! Resolve. We're so close! I don't think we're gonna get there. Oh, and they've got two mana up. We'll take for now. Because we might need to kill a big shark or something. No, I, I think our opponent just wins. I think they've done it. God damn it. All right, so opponent drops the land. They get in. If they've got a shark typhoon, it's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big one. Well, well, well. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's not good. Certainly not good. Just a scry. I mean, they know we have the mauling, so they might try and typhoon with a counter spell up, or try and find a remorse to remove our Hagra mauling. We've gotten them so low. I mean, maybe our opponent's flooded out too. I'm gonna keep letting this go for a bit though, just because, as I said, we might need to kill a shark. Trying to look. Damn it. We just need one creature, man. We've hardly seen any old game. Yeah, we've hardly seen any, holy crap. Not for a while, at least. We had only creatures in the opener, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. Ay ay ay. Two to the top, that's not what you want to see. Probably lights out. Inventory. Yo. I forgot that... Our opponent could mill. Wait, why didn't it give me a chance to kill that just then? And why did I draw another land? 
I honestly forgot Mill was like a thing. And now I feel silly for not killing this turns and turns ago. And now I won't get the chance to because they're just gonna... Oh, okay. And then is here the big shark? And then we kill it with Drown and Lock? Yeah, they're probably just shark for four. Here, hold up a counter spell. Intervention. Okay. Yeah, I think I might have thrown this. I mean, we're very unlikely to actually mill them anyway. But I could have had a heck of a lot more life if... I think we were on about... 13 or 16. Actually, we might as well let it land here. They can draw cards. Have all three. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> our opponent goes to 15. Um, what was I saying there? Yeah, I think we're on like 13 or 16 life. They were tapped out. We had the mauling in hand. We could have killed them. And yeah, we could have a heck of a lot more life right now. So that's kind of lame. We're going to pass. And when they scry with castle, we'll kill the Atris. There's the shark. And do they scry as well? Are they holding up a counter spell maybe? Oh no, they got me. They got me. I really thought they would. Well. <laughs> I mean, I think we're losing either way, but I'll try. Surely there's a few counter spells in there. There's one neutralize. We shall attempt to counter the neutralize. Probably just get countered ourselves though. But yeah, that looks like GG. Um, yeah, we just didn't draw enough creatures in the end. So yeah. That's GG. Opponent, 13 cards in library. I played that one pretty silly though. Um, could have had a heck of a lot more life. And maybe, just maybe got the meal if I, yeah, if I killed that first actress a bit ago, but probably would have lost either way. Let's be real. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, no, no real good early game play. You always like to see either the Thought Thief or the... Thieves Guild Enforcer, or both, but those are probably your best early game plays, but hey, still a solid hand. Is everyone playing? <laughs> Is this the same guy? I didn't check, but I swear they had Ashiok sleeves. But yeah, just a dismal backwater. I've said, I think, all five games um, that I keep forgetting to check the mana base. Forgot to check it again. <laughs> <laughs> There's an enforcer, so we are versing rogues this time. And they've got a much better start than we do. If we can stick this, then we might be doing alright, but yeah, they're on the play. But yeah, rogues. Rogues are uh, seem pretty popular. So yeah, this will be the last match. I'm glad we got that one Omnath match in at the start. I wish we versed a couple more just to truly see. Yeah, and they're not gonna have any cards in their grave. So I would love to just kill this thing right now. But alas, we shall be holding up the counter spells. Uh, I would like them to just tap out here. Yeah, not looking like they will. Uh, I would have loved them to tap out. They might tap out for a soaring nut. No. Wish they had an untapped land there, went for the scavenger. And we could have countered it, dropped the scavenger on our turn. But we're going to play it safe. I think we got to play it safe here. Because, yeah, they they definitely have a counter spell. Two mana up. Um, so what we're going to try and do is drop this in response to their attack. They probably counter it, but then we get a scavenger down. I think that's the play. We're not quite milled yet so there's the counter out of their hand they might have a land no okay so we get to get our scavenger down it's very unlikely to live but if it does then we're in good shape and we're building up for Nagadim's awakening at some point but it's not great in counter spell matchups I'll be pretty scared like our opponent in game 3 was but yeah last resort I suppose 
All right, I feel like they mightn't have removal because surely they would have done it by now. If they, oh, come on. They don't. But we actually don't have removal for that right now either. Because they only have one card in the grave. No. Right, I assume our opponent just gets in with the 3-2 here. I definitely won't block it, but okay, fine. Yeah, this sucks that we didn't get any early mill. They've milled us plenty. Because, yeah, our drown in the locks. Just like killing that, getting in with this, would just turn this game around. But we cannot. So. And, I mean, we should be holding up these, but I kind of just want to rankle. Oh, no, I'm not. I don't know what to do, man. Pass the turn. This is not looking good at all. Not at all. We'll hold up two counter spells. We have more, more mana than our opponent. That's the only silver lining at the moment. If they don't hit that fourth lane, they still have no Zerth Sun. Ah. <laughs> so Zerth Sun here is big, big ouchie. Big, big ouchie. No. Nothing. We are in a little bit of a stalemate here, opponent. We'll attempt to destroy Thieves Guild Enforcer, because why not? Start using our cards. If we can eat a counter spell, that would be fantastic. I think you just let it die here, though. Denial. Do we just deny all the denial? So put two cards in their graveyard. Now, yeah, we, we want this to kill that. So if they don't have... If this is their only counter spell, surely they'll have something. This does... No, no, if they counter this, that's fine. Because all we need is three cards in their grave. Ah, but they're keeping two mana up. Damn. <laughs> Because I really want to drown and lock this. But they probably have a counter. We're going for it though. Because this could really turn the game around. It really could. Wish we had a one drop in our grave. We did it. We got it. Oh yes. Big yes. Alright. And now. We attack in. What's our opponent got? We can counter a creature spell. So I'm not. Scared of them flashing a creature in. Oh, maybe they have anti-cog. And that's why they couldn't counter. That would make sense. I think you just chump block here, sack it, draw a card. Our opponent has no lands in their grave yet. When they do, this will be a 4-3. So yeah, sack the wind rubber, draw a card. And yeah, we're hoping to just counter a thought thief or something here. Flash it in at the end of turn. If we can land a Rankle to team up with this Scavenger, that would be pretty cool. No! That's, uh... That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Opponent probably just passes here. Would love for them to attempt to get their own Scavenger down. That would be cool. Yeah, the Rogue Mirror actually makes for a really interesting match, though. A lot of, uh... A lot of thinking. So, yeah... We still need one more land for this to be good. Because then we can get two guys back. Obviously not worth risking just yet. All we do here is go scavenger. Hold up our counter spells. Can probably assume it gets countered here. It lands. Yes, so our lofty denial is so much better now. Do they just have another brazen boa? Bouncy, bouncy. Slither Wisp. Counter that. So yeah, our opponent's more of a flash variant. Oh, we don't have the... <laughs> we still don't have the cards in their grave to get the scry. That's unfortunate. I was thinking we did, and I was ready to scry, but oh. What you gonna do? So we're tapped out now, which is an issue, but yeah, I don't like Slither Wisp being on the board. Gives them card advantage. Alright, so Scavenger might be dead here. Alright, now tap your other two mana as well, opponent. Do it. And the other one? It's a tap land. Yay. That is not great. Oh, uh, if it was an untap land, this could get two guys back. Oh, uh, that's really annoying. Alright, Rankle. Rankle, go. 
actually going to discard the back order here. Looking for an untapped land so that we can hold up denial. That's the plan. It, it's pretty risky. It's not likely to happen, but we're going to go for it. Nope. So in that case, do we bolt this in? I would love to go for one, but I think it's just too risky anyway. So I think I'd prefer to bolt it in. It's a lot of damage. It is a lot of damage, but yeah, we get to hold up these spells, which is awesome. Ah, I would have loved to have gone for an Agadim spin, but we don't have a one drop in the grave still somehow. So we're only getting two cards. Still a really good, good little swing, but yeah. Want to keep this wrangle alive if we can. Our opponent is going to hit us for three here, which does sting. Does sting quite a lot, but I got to take it. Bouncing the Enforcer during their turn is not ideal. So we've got to take it. We've got dismal backwaters in here to gain life. <laughs> yeah, it sucks we couldn't get a single hit in with our Scavenger to gain a bit. Because our opponent's definitely winning the life race here. Alright, Sorcery Speed. Drown the Lock. Attempt. Come on. Alright, now what else do they got? Thought Thief. Nail me some more. A wind rubber. We do get to spin it. Oh, actually, you know what we do get to do? Is make them sacrifice something. That's pretty good. I just realized how black intensive our mana is. That sucks, because yeah, I'd love to bounce something and get this down in the same turn, but sadly we cannot. So we play the wind rubber. We get in with Rankle. Next, we each play a Saxa creature. I don't know, I kinda like our borrower right now. Mm, this is a risky, risky one. Right, I'm discarding borrower. This is a big risk. See you later, Wind Rover. No, yeah. Alright, that's tapped out. Let's do it. It's not full value, but we may as well do it here. Thought, Thief, and Wind Rover. Sweet. So yeah, uh, pulling that Agadim's Awakening off the top was pretty damn insane. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so we took a big risk there discarding our Brazen Borrower. And yeah, I was saying, I was saying I hope we get to pull one of these off. If we had... The hell? My lip got stuck. If we had one more mana, it would have been even more insane because we would have got a Scavenger as well. But that's a pretty big swing. We can sack this if we need to to draw a card. We've got a lot of damage on board. So we've, we've turned it around. We're technically winning the life race now. But yeah, we're tapped out. So an opponent. Yeah, my opponent's just hit no lands. I mean, we haven't hit a heap. But uh, yeah, we've hit more than they have. So I think I just block here. Because if they Zareth Sun here, that sucks. So I block. Sack, draw a card. I'm assuming they have Zareth Sign. Not assuming, just playing around it. <laughs> um, yeah, sorcery speed to avoid counter spells, fair, but it's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you, cause yeah, I just get to kill this. Bango, bingo, lango. I get this down to sack. Mill. Oh yeah, I sack this, right? Well, each player trying to decide on this one. Giving my opponent more draws might be a bad idea, but doing one damage is also a good idea. It gives me lethal in the air. If I was to keep these two, because I get them to five, uh, I'm actually not going to. Because, I, yeah, I'm on board. I want to try and run my opponent out of resources. And I sack the Thieves Guild Enforcer. Because they're in the air. This is giving me just as much power as that would be. Because it's two here. One here. This will be giving me three. That's a hard decision, though. Because this had death, has Death Touch. Taking a big risk here. We did it. Alright, awesome. That was a really 
really cool match. Um, sometimes, uh, we're not a control deck, but we have counter spells and stuff. So sometimes a mirror match in a, in a deck like that can be kind of boring, but I thought it was really interesting just, uh, playing around counter spells, countering each other's counter spells, that sort of thing. And we got there in the end. So we went four and one, and I think it's pretty safe to say the deck is, uh, I mean, we all knew it was solid already. It was already tier two, fringe of tier one, but I think... Yeah, I really do think without Euro, it's uh, just straight up tier one. Going to be one of the best decks in the format. And yeah, I'm glad we got to destroy that Omnath deck in the first match, which we got. I uh, wish we got to verse it a bit more to have a bigger sample size. But yeah, I have a hunch that this deck is going to be pretty good against that deck. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.